The bank angling tri-nations kicked off this week despite the various challenges. The challenges that we had on the very first day was that the owners where we were all staying phoned us and told us that we had and we've moved the pegs three times already and with all the debris and stuff that's coming into the dam that gets onto their lines it's very difficult but they are anglers and they face all of these challenges because they love what they're doing. The visiting teams had their work cut out, catching up with the home side. The first day Australia finished second, um, yesterday we finished third, so today is, is crunch time for us. Uh, if we can do well today, we'll knock the baby out, but if they beat us then we'll settle for third. Staying positive is the, is the main key. Um, the challenge is there, if it's wind, if it's these, this green slime, if it's the water rising, we just need to be positive and then the results will be on the end. For the home side, the aim is to make a clean sweep. It was difficult in the beginning, but I must say, uh, Bloom of, the Bloom of Town, the people, they're so uh, they're accommodative and they really supported us in this. And obviously we've got home ground advantage, but it's still difficult with the water pushing up, but we've got enough uh, cards in our bag, you know, to, to take the, the prize home. The Blumhof Dam is also expected to host almost 200 anglers for the Pro Mania final tournament next weekend. Sintle Inglihihi, SABC News, Blumhof.